triplets. Let's talk about these triplets today. Um, I'm going to take a minute, maybe just play a little bit perhaps. I could just demo some of what we're going to do by learning some triplets. And I'll use a C harmonica for this. Okay, so let's pull up some music. It'll be in the key of G. Let's see what this sounds like. There's some triplets for you, just to give you an idea of what we're getting into today. Good morning, if you're tuning in from somewhere where it's morning, and if you're tuning in from somewhere where it's nighttime, good evening to everybody. All right, so triplets, is that's the topic today. Let's just talk about what a triplet is. You're playing three notes over one beat. So if the tempo... I guess I'll just start with the second position is what we're in, I should say. Um, so yeah, let's talk about these triplets, what you can, why you want them and how you can find them. They're really useful to be working these, uh, the whole triplet thing is a way to switch up your phrasing in a nice way. So again, if you're just counting one, two, three, Maybe just acquaint yourself with a come and get acquainted with that six blow, five draw, four draw on a C harmonica. A beginner would just start with something that didn't have any bending going on, let's say. So you would just play that. Every time you tap your foot down, you can start the triplet. And again, it's a nice way to break up your phrasing. I, I think a lot of the common things I'm hearing when people are improvising when they're, you know, in the beginner or inter, early intermediate zone is that they're basically not thinking about changing up their phrasing in this way. So I've got some ideas. I'm going to throw a, a whole bunch of this at you today. Grab a pet, pen and paper or come back to this video and take notes. And what happens is once you start working triplets, you see that they're everywhere and you, you can just find them anywhere on the harmonica in second position we're talking whether you start on one draw two two blow or wherever you are there's something available that you could play so i i said six blow five draw four draw um what else could you do coming off of six you can move up six blow six draw seven drop it sounds something like this just to give you a quick little Six blow, five draw, four draw. And then this is a little fast perhaps for a beginner. Um, you could repeat one note anywhere, just going. Just to practice the art of getting the timing. Four draw. Just saying da 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 with your tongue, da da da, da da da, da da da. But where triplets be 
become really interesting, I think, is when you start bringing in the bends and your m movements are limited left and right. You're not, you're no longer, you know, crossing over as many holes, let's say three holes. Now you just might be using two holes like this triplet. Here's a really nice one. Starting on four draw, four bend, three draw. Pay attention to the jaw and how that works to get you that three draw. The jaw is moving left. Just let it drop and slide over. You can start to really build speed that way. And here's the what's cool about triplets. Once you define a pattern of, of a triplet like that one, four draw, four bend, four draw, if we just take that idea and move it down to like three draw, half step, three full step, and two draw, which is basically the same pattern, you're drawing, drawing again with a bend on a hole and moving down a hole, you get something like this. I'll play the first one, four draw, four bend, three draw, and then I'm gonna move down to three and two and do a similar pattern, and then I'll break that down. Two draw, two full step bend, one draw. So you can see that this pattern's downward moving and that it's there's really not a whole bunch of different there's not a big change in the pattern that you're playing. And then you could start to move, that's downward moving, but you can move up, you know, bend, draw on a hole and move up a hole. One bend, one draw, two draw, you know, they're everywhere. And so once you start noticing them, it's like hard not to find them. Feeding off of anything going downward. Let me just play around with this idea for a minute. too much all right I don't want to speed that up to keep it in triplet fashion so you get the idea that especially in the bottom part of the harmonica you can almost they're they're like seemingly everywhere so if I play let me give you and I know I'm rapid firing all this but if I play like three draw four blow four draw really common triplet like sunny boy style and just move that up a hole that could work four draw five blow five draw And then from there, get creative. Like if you find that three blow, three draw, four blow, and four draw works as a nice triplet, what are the other available note choices in that four? So instead of four draw, you could play with four bend, and you could start alternating some of those like this. So I'm just putting three draw, four blow, four draw, then three draw, four blow, four bend. And it's a nice mix. Even going even on the high end, there's some really accessible triplets. Triplets are a great way to get things going. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm just seeing who's here today. What's going on? Everyone tuning in, thanks for checking this out. Triplets are cool. They're a really fun way to work on your phrasing, your timing, and again, just discover some new patterns. Um, I've talked about the fact before that I think of things, um, when I play music, I, I interpret a lot of that through how I'm hearing what I want to play in my mind, but also what it looks like. And what's nice about this is that it frees you up to sort of just follow patterns occasionally. It's not the only approach, but it's one approach. And like I just pointed out, these patterns can can just stay the same. So if you think in patterns like draw, bend, and then draw on the hole below, start experimenting with that movement down 
on the three draw, you might want to go to three draw full step. Just try that one and two draw with the full step. Um, a lot of what I did in that quick demo when I was going fast earlier, draw, bend, draw. And these are, if you like these kind of exercises, I'll also link some cool packages um, where I teach you pattern recognition and um, bending exercises is in a whole nother lesson too, where we bring in the triplet practice. Triplets. Uh, I want to remind you that I got a cool class tomorrow. It's covering the Super Harps Part 2 CD. So check that out. I'll put a link to that. It's not too late to get in on that. And um, that's at 11 a.m. Central. Everything's recorded. This is just a Zoom webinar. And then don't forget Sunday is the Honer Penna Harp webinar. It's open to the public. And I'll put that link also in the video description. You just click it at 11 a.m. Central on Sunday and you can join the webinar or catch it here streaming on YouTube. Difference is if you catch it on YouTube, you will not be able to interact uh, with the Q, you know, through the chat box. But if you join the Zoom webinar, we'll actually see your questions. So if you just want to kick back and listen and watch, I will stream it here on my channel on Sunday. All right, so let's play around with some more triplets. Um, let me just try to get creative with this. I'm using a, what's called the Acoustic Jazzy Blues and G. Uh, I believe this is coming from that MCCD Sessions channel. How about the Jerry McCain riff, six draw, seven draw, eight draw? I guess, I guess, folks, I guess if you really want to, if you're new to this, you would probably, uh, let's see how slow this is, take something slower. One draw, two blow, two draw. And trust your ear, if you play, like I said, if you played one draw, two blow, two draw, and then you just tried to move up a hole and did the same thing, you'd, you'd hear that that doesn't sound good, then trust your ear and don't use that pattern. Move to the next hole. Ah, that does work. So two draw to three, the two and three hole, it's not as friendly for that type of pattern. But once I got past that, it worked just fine. So trust your ear. We all have ears, so you just gotta trust them, you know? Hello, 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 good to see you guys. So I'm gonna keep playing around with these triplets, and if you really wanna get good at this, take, like I said, a track that's more appropriate for you, take something like the, a slow track, and just work these triplets nice and easy. One draw, two blow, two draw. Five draw, five quarter step bend, four draw. Let's move that one down a hole. Down a hole to the three draw, three full step, two draw. Two draw, two full step, one draw. It's one blow, one bend, one draw. They're everywhere. Do you see what I'm saying? It's really almost difficult to not find them. And then what's fu fun is to take the idea of conjoining these triplets with with ex like extending the phrase. I don't even, let's see if I can just try to find this. So you play the triplet, but you, you just keep moving like. So you're just, once you've played a tr the triplet once, twice, however many times you play it, maybe try just extending that phrase and moving 
up or downward depending on which way the I'd follow the direction of the triplet like if I was going down I'd keep moving down typically as an exercise you know and in real play and if I was moving up I might continue that movement up get creative with what else how you can work these into your improvisation that's what's on my mind is triplets thinking about it this class tomorrow um carrie bell lays down some killer staccato triplets especially in that song what which is it let's see if i have it pulled up still i don't um could be walking through the park is one of them check out the cd you'll hear he's all over it and it's just it's awesome the way that Carrie's like he's constantly bringing in some really staccato triplet areas but on a faster little slightly faster song it, it's really funky it's kind of nice so I was I mentioned the bending and I just want to point that out that once you bring in bending you're you're, you're limiting I suppose the way to think about it is you're limiting uh, the left and right movement. You don't need as many holes, right? Because you're taking advantage of a note and then a bend below it. Three draw half step bend, three draw full step bend, and two draw. Same going up. And then it becomes really, you can really get some speed going and just see where, if you can take off with the triplet into another direction. and just build speed off of that motion. And keep in mind that here's something to remember is that like, by definition, you're playing three, three notes in one beat, but sometimes we're pushing two notes together to make one. Let me see if I can explain this. There's actually four notes going on, but it's still a triplet. How is that possible? Because the first two notes are really coming together as one. I'm releasing a bend on a five to a five draw, then I'm bending it and drawing on the four. And in the world of timing, that's still a triplet. So it sounds like this. Because that first note is like one note, really. The first two notes. That's more advanced. That's a little more advanced playing. So for those that are, you know, less familiar, start with the simple stuff. Yeah, the Help Me song. We talked about that one. Three draw, four blow, four draw. And really, Sonny Boy, actually, that's a great example. The way Sonny plays it is actually three draw, four blow, four draw into the four bend. But it's still a triplet like this. So he's pulling into the bend, but that's really like one note. Because it happens really quick, comes together. Yeah, there's some good stuff going on here. Um, I'm intentionally leaving the track going to cover up some of the uh, construction noise once again. It's fun being a musician and a teacher in a construction zone. But hey, that's all good. So yeah, this is what was on my mind today. The whole triplet conversation, I don't know, just kind of grabbed it out of thin air but I thought it would make for a good video to share some of these ideas on the fly um, and then move to other positions and, and notice where the triplets are where you can really milk more bending in the triplets like in first position a lot of that happens up top in the, where the blow bending is or in third position it happens a lot feeding off of the middle register but you can do it up, up top and on the bottom as well really in third uh, and just enjoy. Have some fun with this stuff. All right. That's what I got, y'all. Come see me tomorrow. If you're digging um, learning this stuff in this fashion, it's not exactly like this in the classes. It's a little more structured, and I include some tablature, but join me. 
check out uh, the Super Harps 2 album. I'm going to be digging into some Carrie Bell, Lazy Lester, Snooky Pryor, and Rafael Neal, and it's going to be killer. It's got a nice balance in the CD with all different styles of blues. And I've hand selected some of these riffs for everybody tomorrow that I think are going to be um, interesting and fun to work on together. And then Sunday, the Penna Harp. Don't forget, 11 a.m. Central. Make a little note right now and come back to this video and check the video description so you can snag uh, the Zoom link for Sunday's session. If you don't own a Penna Harp, you might find it interesting just to learn a little bit more about what, what it's about and what it can do. All right. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to play you out with a little blues here. And throw in some triplets, of course. This is a little slow. What about some of this action? Ah. This titled track. This one is probably not. That's a nice one right there. Little Walter hit me to that kind of pattern. Three draw, two draw, one draw. And I'm bending, I'm lifting the three with a little bend. Now, this is for demonstration purpose that I'm, I'm drilling these triplets. You want to use these effectively in your playing. You wouldn't constantly be playing the triplets, but you know, like I was trying to say earlier, use them to build riffs, you know, like take the triplet and work something else around that triplet. Find your soul. Give us the real Ronnie Shellist. That's pretty funny, man. You're always getting the real me, whether you like it or not. It's always, you're getting me, for better or for worse. All right? Yeah, maybe we just play out not thinking too much about triplets. can't help it because that's the topic 
four draw, three draw, half step, bend, two draw. That's pretty fast, so like again, if you're digging this and you want to work on this, make sure you find a track where you can insert it with the correct you know, timing of the triplet. If we don't have that, we got nothing, so. All right, yeah, thanks for joining me again. Appreciate you guys. I hope to see some of you tomorrow in class and Sunday for the Pen Harp webinar with Drew Lewis, Horner's product manager, very knowledgeable and friendly fella. And I'm looking forward to spending some time doing that tomorrow and Sunday. So I hope to see you there. Make it a great day.